Hey there everyone, Redick Brian here. As you can see, the back end's back on its tires. And the front end may look a little bit different. Let me show you what I did. I flipped it. I wasn't originally going to do it, but I figured I'm going to see what it looks like with the front end flipped. And I'm going to try and use the original front tires which are underneath the hood. Looks like I'm going to have to either spin the tie rod around to the bottom, which will be the easiest way of doing this, or clearance the uh, hood brackets. So as you can see, yeah, I uh, flipped it, and then I uh, spun it around. So my uh, my pinion here for my steering would be on the same side. And they're actually they're pretty lined up, pretty good. So I'm hoping, without too much effort, I can hook this steering back up. Not today, probably not till tomorrow. And then uh, most likely flip this tie rod around so it doesn't interfere with my hood. Then I'll still have a little bit of a front uh, wobble. Whenever I'm going um, up bumps and stuff, it won't be a solid front end, which I don't necessarily like the uh, solid front end tractors. So, I so I'd do a quick update on this. I also have jumped around the frame a bit. It seems to be pretty solid. As you can see there's a few bolts there that are, that are loose underneath by my battery box. I will tighten them up. I may or may not get rid of that fuel pump. It's still good. So we'll see. But it's stiff right now. I uh, just stuck it in there. I didn't bother greasing anything. And uh, just stuck it in and tightened the bolt back up. So, also I got rid of the uh, original mower idler right here. It's the idler, and it was the uh, had to do with the uh, engagement of the mower deck. It's actually quite easy to do. I remove this bolt here and the bolt just back there. That whole piece came off, and I just uh, took four bolts out of it, and I could uh, take out the uh, mower piece. I did not have to cut nothing, which is nice. That's another nice thing about this tractor. It's extremely well built, like I've uh, said in the past. So that's pretty much it. So I want to do a quick update, show that the back end's back on its tires. I uh, sprayed a quick uh, coat of paint on it. Um, the steering is stiff. So I got to find, there should be a grease nipple somewhere down in there to uh, try and loosen up the steering a bit. But uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, it shouldn't take me long, we'll wire wheel those uh, front spindles and uh, stick some front tires on and uh, see what the stance looks like. Put the back end down and then with the front end down. I was originally going to keep the front end up, but I figure if I can lower it and it's going to work correctly, I might as well do it. But then this entire thing, maybe including the dash, is going to get taken all apart again and I'm going to spray paint the entire frame black, touch up on any wells I need to touch up on. But they all seem to be okay. I may do a little bit more reinforcing on the frame. I haven't decided yet. But um, just uh, paint the entire frame. I won't have to uh, raise it up like I had it before. I'll be able to do it in place like this. Uh, there's a little bit on the back. Those pieces there, I welded them on. Uh, I got to cut them down and grind the welds up a bit. But I just want to get some paint on it so it doesn't rust anymore. Let me hop up on here. Paint's dry now. Not bad. Just moving a bit up front where the uh, jacks are. Don't worry, we're going to step on the tranny. Not bad at all. Not much flex at all in that frame. So I guess that's uh, pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep your redneck like always. And uh, don't get your antler stuck in your steering wheel.